Hello. So I recently decided to give my, you know, very ancient waffle maker, the old Heave Ho. Uh, I think I had had it for probably over 20 years. It moved with me everywhere I ever went. And um, I decided that, well, not only was it not working very well, but actually it was made of Teflon. And so it was chipping. And of course we all know that that is definitely not a good thing. So I decided to invest in the Oster uh, Belgium waffle maker. And I know that it had promised that it would cook up to 20% faster and, um, you know, very easy cleanup. And uh, I've noticed that all of that is true. Yeah, they, the waffles are very quick. Um, so I've actually just plugged it in. I'm gonna make a waffle here too, why not? Uh, but the waffles cook very quickly. It's very easy cleanup uh, because it's nonstick, right? And you know, the other big thing that I mentioned too, which I was really concerned about with my old waffle maker, of course, was the Teflon. Um, the Oster Belgian waffle maker, uh, it has a nonstick coating. It's Dura ceramic. Apparently it'll last four times longer than the standard nonstick coatings. It won't flake, which is really important for me, um, giving me peace of mind when I'm, the only thing I have to worry about is just making sure that I make the recipe correctly. <laughs> right? Um, and it's safe, which of course is important when you're making food for your family. So the natural ceramic coating is both uh, PFOA and PTFE free, which kind of sold me on it w when I bought it, having that peace of mind. Um, it's really e easy to use. The reason why I picked this waffle maker actually is, you know, when you go to hotels, and uh, they have the, the breakfast station, right? And I think many hotels have the flip waffle maker, which I love, my kids love. In fact, they love making their own waffles there. That's what I wanted. I just found that those make the perfect looking waffles and uh, really light and fluffy as well too. So this is gonna give you what I've found is a very nice looking waffle. And of course the flip helps with that too. Check this out. Just like that, very easy. Uh, should we make one? I'll show you what it, yeah, cause I'm just, I think it looks so beautiful when it's done. So I use a little ladle here. I'm gonna fill it up. I don't have a lot of, I don't think I have enough waffle mix here. So even if you don't have enough waffle mix, <laughs> we'll see what happens. There we go, I like to spread it around a little bit. Okay. So as you can see, it's kind of cooking along the bottom, right? But then what you want to do is, uh, you definitely want to flip it. Okay, so the light is off, and that means we're just gonna wait for it to cook. So usually on a Saturday, I'll make waffles when uh, we don't have a lot of running around to do, and you know, while I'm waiting for this to cook, I'll go and get some whipping cream ready. Perhaps it might be in a can or else I might make it as well too. Uh, and you can do that quickly while you're waiting for the waffle. Or you know what I really like to do is get frozen raspberries, maybe boil them down a bit and have a nice raspberry sauce for them. Or if you're short on time, even just grab some fresh raspberries to uh, throw on them. I mean, there's really so much you can do. Actually, another thing I really like to do too is I find that, you know, one waffle is sufficient per child. I have an eight year old, one waffle is good for him. Half a waffle is actually good for my uh, five year old. And so whatever is left over, I just take them and I put them in the freezer. And then all you have to do is toast them later. And it's like they have fresh waffles. It is fantastic. Um, and, you know, kind of a healthy thing because you're you're making it from uh, scratch. And yeah, I, I like doing that as much as I can. Well, you know, when time is tight, it's kind of hard to do that. But anyway, so as it cooks, it's been flipped. That is the most important part, by the way, is always make sure you flip it. Because when I first started using it, I have to admit that I did forget the flip a couple times. <laughs> and what happens is basically you get, uh, you know, one side of the waffle's a little flat and the other side is beautifully detailed with that, you know, like nice uh, kind of waffle design. 
So as we wait for it to be ready, you can see it's steaming. And this is the, the setting that I like. I put it on max. Um, the reason why I do that is because I like a really nice crisp golden brown waffle. And I, I tried all the different settings. I tried the low and, um, it, you know, it was okay, but I just, I like that crisp golden looking waffle. And so I found that that seemed to be the, uh, the best one for it. One thing I noticed too, you know, in comparing this waffle maker to my old kind of hunk of junk, um, is that, you know, first of all, it quicks, it cooks waffles a lot faster. Uh, they're a lot lighter and that's really to do with, uh, flipping it. You're giving so much more space kind of for the waffle to expand inside, right? So you're having a nice fluffy waffle, which is, uh, so good. And then of course, I really like the polished chrome uh, on the outside. It's kind of what I go with with everything. It goes with my fridge, goes with my dishwasher, it goes with my stove as well too, is the uh, polished chrome. So I think, I have a feeling, my gut is telling me that the light, oh uh, yeah, the light's gonna go off right now. So we're gonna flip it back, voila, open it up. Oh, that is beautiful. And although, as I mentioned, I didn't have, you know, like, the, uh, the full amount of, um, what do you call it, of, uh, so check it out, look at that, isn't that great, I mean it's just, and it's so easy, anyway I was really happy with this purchase, it's exactly kind of what it promised, you know, cooking a waffle faster than most uh, waffle irons, uh, it's safer than many of them with the Dura, Dura ceramic nonstick coating and it's light and fluffy and I wish you could taste this right now because I know it's going to be delicious. I've made a, enough of them <laughs> in the past and yeah so you can freeze them too which is really great. Uh, a great feature as well too. So I'm really happy with my Oster pur purchase and I would definitely invest in this again.